हेलो हाय वेलकम ऑल टू द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस आई मुकेश भारद्वाज गोइंग टू टेक द सब्जेक्ट एलिमेंट्री मैथ इन बीएससी एग्रीकल्चर फोर्थ सेमेस्टर ऑन द लास्ट टर्म वी हैड स्टार्टेड विद द टॉपिक मेट्राइसिस एंड डिटरमिनेंट्स एंड वी हैड कंप्लीटेड द मेट्राइसिस ऑपरेशन ऑन मेट्राइसिस and uh, types of matrix and uh, in operation of matrix we had come to know about the addition of matrix subtraction of matrix and uh, the most important that is multiplication of matrix and uh, various properties also associated with the matrix had been discussed now we are going to start with uh, determinant and uh, i am moving directly to the new topic that is determinant which is related to the matrix <clears throat> the types of matrix unit or identity matrix we had done null or zero matrix triangular matrix we had done that it is upper triangular matrix and the lower triangular matrix uh after that the scalar matrix we had already done matrix operations that is equality of matrices we had already covered this topic that how, um, how the two matrices are equal to each other addition subtraction of matrices the application of matrix matrix operations matrix multiplication matrices these are the some laws now the transpose of matrix we had already the covered this topic transpose of matrix that is we are changing the row into the column or column into the row is known as the transpose of matrix these are the some properties of the transpose matrix these are the some questions related to the transpose of matrix symmetric matrix uh, this is the special type of matrix in which if a matrix is transpose and it equals to a then it is known as symmetric matrix uh, now the inverse of matrix for finding out the inverse of matrix we had learned the concept but for finding out the inverse of matrix we required to go through the topic determinant because here the determinant is required for finding out the uh, inverse of matrix a square matrix that has an inverse is called non singular matrix a matrix that uh, that it does not have an inverse is called singular matrix square matrices have inverse except when the determinant is zero when the determinant of the matrix is zero the matrix is singular now determinant of matrix to compute inverse of matrix to compute inverse of matrix the determinant is required each square matrix has a unit scalar uh, value called the determinant of a denoted by the determinant a or uh, by uh, symbolic representation as a Uh, enclosed by two parallel lines the determinant of matrix is a scalar number obtained from the elements of the matrix by specified operations which is the characteristic of the matrix the determinants are defined only for square matrix it is denoted by determinant a and the parallel lines which is shown in the slide the determinant of any matrix for example a matrix a is shown and it is 1 2 6 5 in the example now we need to find out the determinant so for finding out the determinant instead of bracket or braces we just uh, put the uh, vertical lines alongside the arrays of a matrix so this is the representation of uh, uh, determinant determinant if a is equals to a is a single element 
one by one then determinant is defined as the value of the element so determinant of the any matrix of order one by one is the alone element which is present in the matrix is the determinant of defined okay if a is n by n its determinant may be defined in terms of order n minus one or less let's see in the next slide now this is all about the some determinant and uh, how we are going to calculate the determinant we will see later on and the some properties also related to the determinant before starting a determinant in more detail we are going to study the topic minus if a is any a is an any n by n matrix and one row and one columns are deleted one row and one columns are deleted the resulting matrix is uh, the resulting matrix just wait a minute the resulting matrix <coughs> is n minus 1 into n minus 1 sub matrix of a the determinant of such sub matrix is called a minor of a and is designed by mij where i and j corresponding to the deleted row and column respectively so mij is the minor of the element aij in a so minor is nothing minor is basically the determinant for any particular uh, element in any matrix and when you when we just uh, want to calculate or to bring out the minor of any element in a particular matrix or square matrix so on that particular element if we choose that particular element is located suppose on the uh, second row second column a22 so we need to delete the second row and the second column and whatever the elements are remaining after deleting the second row and second column elements so that result in a sub matrix and the determinant of that sub matrix is the minor for that particular element that is instead of a to 2 we are going to write uh, the determinant of the sub matrix okay so the a to 2 is replaced by the minors and that is known as the minors and uh, we need to put the sign also if i'm talking about the minor of a to 2 so a 2 and 2 that's mean 2 plus 2 results in 4 so the result is come out to be even so we put the determinant of the sum matrix with positive sign and that is the particular single positive value now suppose if i want to take the determinant of any uh, we can call it a 2 1 that is the for an element in a matrix on second row first column position if i want to calculate the minor for that particular element position then on a21 that means second row and first column is deleted and uh, the remaining elements give the sub matrix and the determinant of that sub matrix is uh, now need to give a sign algebraic sign whether positive or negative so a21 2 plus 1 is equals to 3 so 3 is the odd number so if the odd position is there then we put the negative sign in front of that particular in this way we are just call, calculating out the minors and cofactors so if a is an n by n matrix and one row and one column are deleted the resulting matrix is n minus 1 into n minus 1 sub matrix of a the determinant of such sub matrix is called a minor of a and is designated by mij where a i where i and j corresponding to the deleted row and column corresponding to deleted row and column respectively mij is a minor of the element aij in determinant now 
नेक्स्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर वॉचिंग द एग्जाम्पल वी कैन से दैट ए डिटर्मिनेंट इज थ्री बाई थ्री ऑर्डर मैट्रिक्स ए वन वन ए वन टू ए वन थ्री इज गिवन टू यू ए टू वन ए टू टू ए टू थ्री ए थ्री वन ए थ्री टू ए थ्री थ्री इज अ मैट्रिक्स ईच एलिमेंट इन ए हैज माइनर सो every element is having a minor delete first row and first column from a we get a minor for a11 and it is written as m11 now calculate the determinant so calculating the determinant is done by the multiplication cross multi multiplication a22 a22 into a33 minus a32 into a22 a23 okay so this will give the minor for a11 m11 and it is denoted by m11 now next similarly for a12 position the m12 will come out to be like this and similarly for a13 the a minor will come out to be like this a21 determinant of a21 a22 a31 a32 and uh, now uh, uh, for the sign presentation in front of minors i am talking about what the procedure of uh, just taking the sign so for putting the sign in front of minors is known as cofactors so cofactor of a cij of an element is element aij is defined as cij is equals to minus 1 to the power ai plus j or minor ij so cofactor for suppose 1 1 is equals to minus 1 1 plus 1 2 minus 1 to the power 2 1 and the minor of 1 1 so this is the general formula for calculating the cofactor so after getting the values of cofactor first you cal calculate the minor and then put the sign this will result in the cofactor matrix or uh, when the sum of any uh, row number i and column j is even cij equals to mij and when i plus j odd is which i had already discussed and told to you that how you are just going to put up the sign in front of uh, the minors uh, that is uh, the summation of i and j is even then the sum will be, and then the uh, uh, sign will be positive and if the summation is odd then we put negative sign in front of minors so these are the sum respectively cofactors now determinant now how to find out the determinant so for finding out the determinant the determinant of n by n matrix a can now be defined as <coughs> uh determinant a is equals to a11 c11 a12 c12 plus dash 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 a1 and c1 and the determinant of a is therefore the sum of the products of the elements of the first row of a and their corresponding cofactors it is defined or it is possible to define determinant a in terms of any other row or column uh but for simplicity the first row only is used next therefore a 2 by 2 matrix a11 a12 a21 a22 has cofactors so if i am just talking about the cofactors of a11 a11 having the minor m11 which is a22 and the determinant of a22 you know that only the single value of a22 will be the cofactor and then this is known as the determinant also and no this is not the determinant this is the cofactors so and the determinant a11 just wait a minute 
यस ए वन वन इंटू ए टू टू माइनस ए टू वन और ए वन टू इंटू ए टू वन सो दिस इज नोन एज द डिटर्मिनेंट फॉर एनी टू बाई टू मैट्रिक्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए मैट्रिक्स थ्री वन वन टू नाउ नीड टू फाइंड आउट द डिटर्मिनेंट सो थ्री इंटू टू माइनस वन इंटू वन विच रिजल्ट फाइव सो फॉर अबाउ मैट्रिक्स द डिटर्मिनेंट वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू फाइव For any three by three matrix, if we are just want to find out the determinant, so for finding out the determinant <coughs> for three by three matrix, we just choose any of the row or any of the column, and we are just uh, do the calculation according to our choice. So, as a standard, I am choosing first row and. Uh, for for flourish the calculation for calculating the determinant so a11 i do not calculate the c11 c12 c13 but i start calculating a11 into a22 into a3 a33 minus a32 into a23 now after that i just put minus sign over here because it stand at the position 1 2 1 2 that's mean the summation of 1 and 2 is come out to be odd and therefore the negative sign appears so minus a12 now after choosing a12 what i need to the sum matrix remain is a21 a33 a23 a3 is finding the determinant for this a21 into a33 minus a31 into a22 now plus because 1 3 is even so i'm choosing the plus sign over here now a13 into the sum matrix remain is a21 a32 a31 a22 so just take the determinant of this sum matrix and get multiply with a13 finally you will find a result a single valued uh, numerical result so that is known as a determinant by which by substituting for the cofactor in this case what i had told you you can just uh, uh, go through this elaboration in a12 i just take a already minus sign just because of the summation of 1 uh, and 2 is odd and in a uh, place of 1 3 i just take the uh, position plus 1 or the summation word as a positive because a13 results in even number next now example number 2 now example number 2 <clears throat> the matrix a 101 023 Minus one zero one. Now see the result. For finding out the determinant of a matrix of order three by three, we are going to calculate in a very simple way. okay in a very simple way <clears throat> for finding out the determinant of this uh, example shown in in a front of you that is in the slide i choose the formula which we i had which which i had discussed a11 a2 a11 bracket a22 a33 minus a23 a32 bracket close minus A one two bracket A two one A three three minus A two three A three one 
bracket close plus a13 bracket start a21 a32 minus a22 a31 bracket close <coughs> now on the position of each element a specific number is given just put all the numbers from the given matrix in the formulation and do the calculation and finally you find out the determinant and the determinant come out to be 4 so for the above example the determinant value is 4 for the above matrix the determinant of the above matrix is come out to be 4 so this can be uh, calculated in a very easy way but uh, you just keep uh, in mind that uh, while doing the calculation the sign mistake uh, is not going to happen if sign mistake is going to happen then the total answer will come out to be wrong so be uh, cautious about while dealing with the algebraic signs wherever it is required to take positive just take positive wherever it is required uh, negative then take negative otherwise the result will come out to be totally wrong now adjoint of matrix now before starting to the adjoint of matrix uh, just wait a minute i would like to i would like to discuss some properties uh, like uh, about the minus the value of the determinant or somewhat the value of determinant can be found by expanding it uh, from any row or column So the properties of determinant, the following properties are frequently useful in the evaluation, interchanging the corresponding rows and columns of a determinant does not change its value. So we can say that this is very important property regarding to the determinant that uh, interchanging the corresponding rows and columns rows and columns of a determinant does not change its value that is determinant of any matrix come out to be same if you change or interchange any row or column within each other okay <clears throat> second property of the determinant is if two rows or two columns of determinant are interchanged the sign of the determinant is changed but its absolute value is unchanged its absolute value is unchanged okay and the further more properties related to this determinant are if Every element of row or column of determinant is zero. Yes, this is one of the most important property. If any, uh, if every element of any row or column of a determinant is zero, the value of the determinant is zero. So I will discuss the examples in the further slides. And uh, the most uh, second fourth one property of the determinant is if two rows or columns of the determinant are identical the value of the determinant is zero this is also a very important property that if any uh, two rows or any two columns of the determinant are identical the value of the determinant is zero the fifth property uh, 
if every element of a row or column of a determinant is multiplied by the same constant k the value determinant is multiplied by the constant by that constant so if any particular uh, matrix is multiplied by a constant then the, that uh, constant is multiplied to the determinant also now the sixth property the value of the determinant not change if each element of any row or of any column is added or subtracted from a constant multiple of the corresponding element of another row or column this is very important property um, because uh, why we are just discussing these properties because on the basis of these properties we are going to uh, solve some problems uh, which are needed to be verified uh, left hand side is equals to right hand side and by applying the properties uh, on both uh, the determinants given to you you need to apply the properties and try to prove them now the seventh property of the determinant is determinant of a diagonal matrix is equal to the product of its diagonal elements and the eighth property of the determinant is the determinant of the product of two matrices is equal to the product of the determinant of the two matrices that is uh, what i mean to say that if two matrices is already multiplied if we multiply or do the multiplication of two matrices and then we take the determinant value okay and if we individually take the determinant of two matrices and then do the multiplication then result will come out to be same ninth property the determinant in which e, in which each element in any row or column consists of two terms then the determinant can be expressed as the sum of two other determinants so there are so many important properties related to the determinant and uh, we had discussed some of the important properties uh, which are very helpful in calculating or finding out the solution related to the verification in, uh, type questions provided to you now the next adjoint of matrix so adjoint of matrix is basically having one formula which requires the determinant and which requires the inverse also okay so the cofactor matrix c of a matrix a is the square matrix of the same order as a in which each element a i j is replaced by its cofactor c i j for example if a matrix a 1 2 minus 3 4 the cofactor c of a is c or the cofactor is represented by c so the cofactor matrix is of the above a matrix is 4 3 minus 2 and 1 okay it's very obvious because when we are just finding out the cofactor we need to find out the minus and the minus are in case of 2 by 2 matrix it's simply the uh, remaining single element after putting the or after deleting the row and column a single element is left and that particular single element is the minor and uh, in according to the choice of the position we put the negative or positive sign and that completely known and uh, known as the cofactor so the adjoint of matrix a denoted by adjoint a is the transpose of its cofactor matrix so for finding out the co uh, adjoint of a the formula need to be used is first you find out the cofactor matrix and for finding out the cofactor matrix first you go for the minors of the matrix and replace the minors with the cofactors uh, that is cofactor is just simply a sign consideration and when you do the transpose of that cofactor matrix that is called adjoint of that matrix 
it can be shown that adjoint a into adjoint a is equals to adjoint a into a is equals to a into identity matrix okay for example if any matrix a 1 2 minus 3 4 is given to me so the matrix is having the determinant value 10 1 into 4 minus minus uh, 2 into minus 3 so this come out to be 10 now if i need to find out this uh, this is the determinant okay now if, if i want to find out the adjoint so first we i just need to find out the cofactor and then take the transpose of that matrix and that result in a adjoint of that matrix so a into adjoint a a into adjoint a results in 10 or adjoint a into a always uh, almost result in the same matrix so here this is very important we had already discussed in the case of multiplication a b is not necessarily equal to b a but here a into adjoint a is equal to adjoint a into a using the adjoint matrix in matrix inversion a into a inverse or a inverse into a is equals to i this is very true and adjoint a into adjoint a equals to adjoint a into a is equals to determinant into determinant of a into i then we can conclude from the above two results that a inverse is equals to a inverse is equals to adjoint a upon determinant a clear because if you take suppose a into a inverse into a equals to i now you take the value of i from the second position so i is equals to adjoint a into a upon a okay so when we are putting the value of i over here so i is adjoint a into a divided by determinant a so a or a will cancel out and the remaining formula left is a inverse adjoint a upon determinant a so in this way we are derived the formula for finding out the a inverse of any given matrix so this is very clear to you for finding out wait a minute for finding out So for finding out yes for finding out <coughs> a inverse we require to find out the adjoint a and the determinant of a so determinant of a is easy but for finding out the adjoint of a we need to find out the cofactors and minors so be sure while finding out the minors and then the cofactor the calculation will not going to be changed or a 
precaution at every step is needed while calculating the A inverse. <clears throat> Next. Now this is the example. We need to find out the A inverse for a 2 by 2 matrix shown to you. 1, 2, minus 3, 4. So for finding out the A inverse, the determinant of the above matrix is 10. Okay. Now, you need to take out the cofactors. So the cofactor for 2 by 2 matrix is very easy. You don't, do not find any problem in finding out the cofactor for 2 by 2 matrix. But when you are start dealing with the 3 by 3 order matrix or higher order matrix, then there is a problem of sign consideration. So, do very carefully in the case of 3 by 3 or higher order matrix. Now, this is the 3 by 3 matrix. And we need to find out the A inverse, that is the inverse of this matrix. So, for finding out the inverse of this matrix, first we calculate the determinant of this matrix. And while calculating the determinant, the determinant value come out to be minus 2. Now, I need to find out the adjoint of A. So, for finding out the adjoint of A, in case of 3 by 3 matrix or 3 by 3 order matrix, uh, I individually calculate the cofactors of a particular each element. If I'm talking about the C11, so C11, you are deleting the first row and the first column. The sub matrix left is 1, 0, 2, minus 1. So take the determinant of this. 1 into minus 1, minus 1, minus 2 into 0, 0. So minus 1 is the minor and 1, 1 is the location. So 1, 1 result in the summation of 2 which is E1 number, the sign is taken to be positive. So C11 is equals to minus 1 only. Similarly, C12, for finding out the value of C12, you have a look in the matrix at the position of C12 minus 1 is standing out. So you just need to delete the first row and second column the elements then left are 2, 0, 1, minus 1 in a sub matrix. So just take the determinant of this sub matrix 2 into minus 1, minus 2, minus 1 into 0, 0. So, so the determinant is minus 2. Now the position on which this uh, minor is to be placed with a sign is odd. So minus 2 is already there, minus minus will become positive. So C12 is come out to be plus 2. Okay. In a similarly way, uh, we are going to calculate the C13, C21, C22, C23, uh, C31, C32, C33. That is the cofactors and cofactor matrix uh, co or cofactors are calculated by the help of minus. And after putting the signs, they are known as cofactors. And uh, now adjoint A, the for finding out the adjoint, we had already seen the formula to find out the adjoints. So the cofactor matrix is therefore written as this. Now adjoint of that matrix is given as after finding the cofactor matrix, you just do the transpose. So after finding the cofactor matrix of any given matrix, when you do the transpose, that is equal to the adjoint of A matrix. So now you got all the values and all the data with you. You directly put all the values and the data in according to the formula for finding out the A inverse. And A inverse is equals to adjoint of A divided by the 
determinant of a. So we know the determinant is minus 2. So just put 1 by minus 2. And adjoint is the transpose of cofactor matrix. So we just uh, do the multiplication of 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 with each element of the transpose of cofactor matrix. And this will come out to be 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5 minus 1.0, 2.0, minus 1.0, minus 1.5, 3.5, minus 2.5. So this is the required inverse of any given matrix. Okay. The result can be checked. <coughs> So whatever the matrix, uh, inverse of matrix you had uh, just bring out, you can check the result by applying this uh, property that is A into A inverse is come out to be identity matrix. The determinant of the matrix must not be zero. Uh, yes, this is very mu uh, must essential condition. That is, the determinant of the matrix must not be zero for the inverse to exist, as there will not be a solution. So, before proceeding to finding out the uh, inverse of any matrix, you first do the calculation or checking or you first ch check out whether the determinant is uh, existing or not. Just wait a minute. Okay. Non-singular <coughs> non singular matrix. Have non-zero determinants. Singular matrix have zero determinants. Singular matrices have zero determinants. Next. Matrix inversion, simple two by two case. Yes, we had already done this. Have a look on this example. Let A is A, B, C, D and A inverse is W, X, Y, Z. Since it is known to that, a into A inverse equals to I. So we are just doing the multiplication of these two matrices and just put it equal to I according to the property or the formula. So after doing all this, we are going to get the equations as comparing the two matrices with the right hand side and the left hand side. A W plus B Y is equals to one. A X plus B Y B Z corresponding element to the corresponding element. So A X plus B Z equals to zero. C W plus D Y equals to zero. C X plus D Z equals to one. And it can be simply be shown that we know that the determinant is uh, of any matrix is A D minus B C. So among from all these data, we are going to identify the value of X Y and Z. So thus y is equals to this and w is equals to this. Just wait a minute. Okay. So y uh, w, the value of y is equals to minus c w upon uh, y is equals to minus c w upon d. And uh, when we just uh, equate this equals to this, y is equals to this, according to the previous equation that w come out to be d upon da minus bc. And where from the above relationship, we know that this is known as the determinant. So w is equals to d upon determinant a, z, similarly z. And uh, by doing the calculation, we come to find out the x minus x is equal to minus b by a. Similarly, y uh, come out to minus c by a. And similarly, z come out to be a by z. So that uh, for a 2 by 2 matrix, the inverse can be constructed in a simple fashion as <coughs> a inverse is equal to 
डब्ल्यू एक्स वाई जेड इज इक्वल टू बी अपॉन ए बी अपॉन ए माइनस सी अपॉन ए एपॉन डिटर्मेंट एंड वी जस्ट टेक द कॉमन फ्रॉम ऑल दिस डिटर्मेंट इज कॉमन सो वॉट जस्ट टेक वन बाई ए एंड इट विल बी लेफ्ट डी माइनस बी माइनस सी ए एक्सचेंज एलिमेंट्स ऑफ मेन डायग्नोल चेंज साइन इन एलिमेंट्स ऑफ मेन डायग्नोल डिवाइडिंग रिजल्टिंग मेटल बाय द डिटर्मिनेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन चेक बाई टेकिंग इन द एग्जाम्पल नो मैट्रिक्स एंड लीनियर इक्वेशंस तो लीनियर इक्वेशंस आर कॉमन एंड इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर सर्वे प्रॉब्लम्स मैट्रिक्स कैन बी यूज टू एक्सप्रेस दीज लीनियर इक्वेशंस एंड एड इन द कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ अनोन वैल्यूज फॉर एग्जाम्पल एन इक्वेशंस in n unknowns then a i r a i j are the numerical coefficients and b i are the constants and x they are known and unknown a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus this this is equals to b2 some equation linear equations are given to you you need to find out the solution so if we can represent the linear equation in the form of matrix all the coefficient term to be a matrix and whatever the variables x1 x2 x3 are term to be the column matrix this and the constant towards the left hand side will be again the column matrix so a matrix come out to be the order of n by n and the x matrix come out to be the order of n by 1 and the b is obviously come out to be the same of the order of x so we can say that number of unknowns is equal to number of equations we already knew in the earlier classes how many number of unknowns are there there are the uh, if if i say that there are three unknowns then three equations need to be frame up or number of unknowns gives the number of equations very simple If the determinant is non-zero, the equation can be solved to produce n numerical values for x that satisfy all the simultaneous equation. To solve, pre-multiply both the both sides of the equation by a inverse, which exists because determinant of uh, a does not come out equal to zero. So a inverse a x equals to a inverse b. Now, since a inverse a is identity matrix, we know that. So i into x is equals to x, and this is x is equals to uh, a inverse b, a inverse into b. So if the inverse of the coefficient, so if the inverse of the coefficient matrix is found, the unknowns y should be determined. For example, you just consider this example. Now. this is all for the to today's lecture now we will continue the linear equations and how we are just going to solve the linear equations with the help of this matrix uh, tool or matrix or determinant tool in the next class so thank you thank you all